there are a number of ways to import documents into Notability to be able to write notes on them. I'm going to show you a few of those ways. First, in the upper right-hand corner, there's an import button. It's the square with the arrow coming into it. We're going to tap on that option. Then you have all of the places that you can import from. Files is the files that are on your iPad or in your iCloud account. If you've connected Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Box, or WebDAV, you can also import from there. And then the last option is the document scan, which is the same as the document scan within an actual note. This will just create a note based off of a new scan. Let's tap on files. You'll see at the bottom you have recents and browse where you can look through all of the recently used documents from your iCloud or on your iPad. If you tap see all, it will show you all of the recent documents and where they're located, whether that is your iCloud drive or on your iPad itself. If you tap browse, this will go into your iCloud drive where you can then tap on a folder to see the documents that are in that folder. So if I wanted to import something from my files app, which I'm gonna upload this legal six pages, this is a PDF. So I'm gonna tap on it. It's gonna ask me, do I wanna create a new note or add to an existing note? I'm gonna create a new note. I can change the title of the note, specify what subject, this note needs to be organized into and select which pages I would like to import. I'm going to import the entire document as is, so I will tap import. There is my new note and I can now write on it just like any other note. Works with other PDFs, so worksheets as well would also work this way. I'm going to go back to my notes list. I'm going to tap import again. This time I'm gonna choose Google Drive since we connected Google Drive at the beginning. This is gonna show you all of the folders in your Google Drive and any files that can be imported. If you notice, all of these files at the bottom are grayed out. They cannot be imported into Notability from this import view. They might be able to be imported directly from Google Drive, which I'll show you in just a second. So I'm gonna to go to a folder that I know has items I can import. In this folder, you can see the items that are um, darkened. I would be able to import those into this document. So I'm gonna tap on one of them. Depending on the file size of the document, it may take a while for it to download. Again, it will ask me, do I wanna create a new note or add to an existing note? I'm gonna create a new note. I can change the title, the subject and the pages, and then tap import. It will then import that note. I'm still in my Google Drive, so if I needed to import other items, I could, or tap done in the upper right-hand corner. Now I can open that note and write on it as needed. That was a Keynote file that I just imported. Next, when we looked at pages, you saw you were limited in the number of lined pages, dotted pages, and grid pages that you could add. Notability has made available a Dropbox that I've given you the link to in this material. Once you open that link, you can tap on any of the folders to download the files. So there's two ways to download these files. If you're looking at this link through Google Classroom, and then if you're looking through Safari. So what we wanna do is open this link in Safari. So tap in the upper right-hand corner. Now what we're gonna do is open one of the folders. I'm gonna open the EDU PDFs. Notice you've got Cornell Note templates, cursive templates, storyboard templates. I'm gonna open the Cornell Note six pages. So I'm gonna tap on it. It's gonna allow me to preview. Your students could set up their Notability document like this anyways by drawing the lines, but you can also give them this PDF to be able to use as well. 
We're going to download this file. So we're going to tap on this down arrow next to sign in. And then we're going to select direct download. Safari is going to ask us, do we want to download? Yes, we do. So tap download. In the upper right hand corner, now notice next to your Shero, you have a down arrow with a circle around it. Those are your downloads. If we tap on that option, it's going to show me the download. I can also tap on the magnifying glass and that's going to show me where that document now lives, which is in the, do which is in the downloads folder on my iPad. So it lives in files. I could also, straight from Safari, tap on that link to preview the file. And in the upper right hand corner, I have the share button, the share -o. Anytime you see the share button, if you tap on it, more likely than not, you're probably going to get an option to share this to Notability. So any website, any document, always look for the share and then directly underneath, look for Notability. If Notability doesn't appear, you can swipe until you find it. Or if you tap More, you can turn on Notability if it is turned off. So I'm going to tap Notability. It's going to ask me, what do I want to do with it? I want to create a new note. I want to keep everything as is. So I'm going to tap Import. And one file has been sent to Notability. I then tap Done. It's not going to automatically open Notability. But that is waiting for me whenever I go back. I'm done with this download so I can clear it out. Go back to Notability. And that file has been imported up at the top. I can do this with a website as well. So if I go back to Safari... Here's an article. I may want to take notes on this article. If I tap on the share -o button at the top, I can then swipe over to Notability, tap Notability. This actually takes a PDF version of this page, so it's not just what you see. So I'm going to tap Create New Note. Down here at the bottom where it says Pages, if you tap All, You'll see the entire article is going to be sent. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to import that again. One file sent to Notability. Tap Done. Go back to your Notability. And there is your article at the top. Now I can annotate this article if needed. You can also do this from Google Drive. So if I go to Google Drive and I open up a document, Google Drive looks a little bit different. In the upper right-hand corner, we're going to tap on the three dots. If you get these options, you're going to tap Share and Export because I want to export this out of Google Drive. I want to then send a copy someplace else. So tap Send a Copy. I want to send this as a PDF, so tap OK. It will prepare the PDF, and then it will give me that option, Notability. So tap Notability. I'm going to create a new note, and I'm going to import. OK, so now I'm in Google Classroom. So I'm going to open up an assignment that has a PDF. So I'm going to tap on that PDF to open. Upper right-hand corner, you're tapping on the share that's going out. It's going to open it in Google Drive. Three dots in the upper right-hand corner. Notice this time I get a different view of what the options are on the right. We want to send a copy. And we're sending a copy to Notability. There's my preview. I can then create new note and import. So basically you're looking for the wording to share, send a copy. Anytime you see that, you're going to be able to get it 
out of whatever program you were in and then get it into Notability.